Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Nichols Sr. Welcome to my home here in Dunwoody, Georgia. This is the Delta 7 Railroad. Well, it was started down in Moultrie, Georgia, where we were living at the time, about 1964. So it is 45 years old now. We cut it up into pieces when we moved back into Atlanta and set it back up again and been adding to it up until about three years ago when there was nothing else, no place to add anything. Oh, I love it. Yeah. With the cell phone. It's just it's model railroading at its best. He said, think about how many buttons you've got to learn on that thing. You can start to turn it on. So you don't have to do it. You don't have to set up or anything. No. You just dial the number and plug it in. Is he coming out or he going to oh, stop it making a hook up? All of the track, except for Bellwood Yard over there, is all hand laid cross ties which I cut on a Dremel saw, which I made out of a Dremel motor tool. And the spikes are made out of paper staples, which were cut with diagonal cutters. There are 152 hand built, scratch built turnouts on the layout. This bridge, three-span steel truss bridge, is scratch built, and this was built way before the days of styrene construction, so this is all made out of strip wood. The layout, I named that after George Bloodworth Industries. Over here is Edward Jones. Edward Jones helped pay for all of this. Next to it is the Plastics Corporation. Over here is Jamie Waterson Trucking Company. Jamie was my nephew. He passed away. He gave me those two trucks. I wanted to use them, so that's what I use those for. Behind that is Watson Office Supplies. That Randall uh, was one I named that for. Down here is Borden's dairy products. We ship milk cars in and out of there. Next to that is Great Western Tea and Coffee Company. Here is one that is the uh, Glock Steel Company for Brian Glock. 
Over here on the back wall is one with a sort of a tricky name, named after Rick Coble. That is the Coble Color Coated Cable Company. And uh, let's see, up here is J.L. Lemming Compressed Gas Company. This was a building that was on John Allen's layout. I made it into two parts so that the tracks would go down between the buildings. Sort of like an urban version of the train going down through canyons. Behind that is the Jarabek meat processors for uh, our good buddy Jarabek. Farther down here, we have the uh, Howard Goodwin digital controls. Howard was pretty good at that. And I believe that's most of the buildings that are named after someone. I just got to clear the magnet, right? Right. And then ease forward just a crack and make sure you got a couple. This is my scratch-built model of Atlanta's terminal station. This station was built in 1907, demolished in 1970, replaced with the United States Courthouse. This is scratch-built, uh, entered it in the uh, SCR convention in Nashville, and uh, it's, by its time, it was pretty primitive construction, but it came out fairly well. It was a very busy station. Atlanta had a smaller station, but this was the terminal station, which I like much better. This is the picture on a postcard of what the station looked like.
Okay, well, if you got a pussy, you got pain. Now, you're moving, so you need a headlight. Uh, start small. Work gradually. Work up. But I would also say today, when you start out, start out in the very beginning with DCC, Digital Cab Control. So that's where the standard is today. And I would use commercial track. When I started out in 64, there was no commercial track. And until 1954, you could not buy a built up locomotive or a run, a ready to run freight car. All freight car kits were kits, not cars. And the only way you could ever buy, buy one that was, was uh, already ready to run was at a swap meet somebody else had built from a kit. So, but I would think, you know, spend more time on your track plan before you ever cut the first piece of board. When we were in Moultrie, which we were there four and a half years, I ran this layout on paper with a paper and pen and uh, worked out all the problems because once it's down, it's down. Thank you for coming and visit the Delta Southern Railroad. I have enjoyed you coming to visit. This will complete my layout for the annual pilgrimage of the Piedmont Division of the National Model Railroad Association.